Hey guys, so I'm here once again at my hair salon. I am finally getting rid of the blonde. Mind you, I have loved having the blonde. I love the haircut that I had with the blonde. However, it's grown out. I haven't cut it since. And the last time I got the touch-up done, I ended up with this copper base here. And it was nothing like the rest of my hair. It was supposed to match, and it didn't. And that's because I used a different hairstylist because my stylist was away on a movie shoot. So I am back and I'm going to dye my hair brown. Um, and you may be wondering why brown. Well, brown is my natural hair color. As you can see here, I naturally have brown hair. Well, I'm wanting to go kind of like a walnut brown, something that's like a brighter brown color, but is still a dark brown. I actually have a picture on my phone and I posted it on Instagram. I was hoping to get some feedback on what you guys thought I should do with my hair. And I've been asking lots of people and um, like I've asked Ray and Audrey and a bunch of people but here is the picture on my phone. You see the lighter color here and the darker color is on the right. And the darker color is what everyone is thinking that I should do. And so that's what I'm here to do today. I'm here to get that nice uh, walnut brown color. I'm, uh, it doesn't, I don't think it'll match my natural hair color, but at least when my roots start to grow in, I'll get a better idea of how many shades later I need to go to match it. Or maybe my roots will just grow in and it'll be perfect, who knows. But I'm here, I want you guys to see my hair. So as you can see here, my hair is blonde it's got like a triple tone i do need to brush my hair still it's got like a triple tone thing going on here with the blonde and the copper and then the brown so i'm just getting a change today and i'm not doing the balayage today so let's just go in i'm actually going to do a little bit of light makeup before i go in there too so here's what i came out with it's like a nice darker cherry walnut kind of brown I like how it looks. Yay. And we just left Target. I picked up my brother after my appointment. I feel a twitch coming on. <laughs> uh, uh, that wasn't it. <laughs> I still feel it. <laughs> I like my hair. I think it matches my eyebrows more so my face doesn't look quite so weird anymore. Alright guys, so yes, I am driving right now and holding the camera. I forgot my window mount, um, but my eyes are focused entirely on the road, so don't worry. I have both the boys with me and we are headed to a kid-friendly barber shop to go get their hair cut. They we looked around last night and they both picked out haircuts from Google Images that they liked. So we're going to go ahead and get their hair cut. And then I am going to come back and drop them off back at home. And then I am going over to Philip and Audrey's. Aiden. Aiden. What are you doing? So we're at a Pigtails and Crew Cuts. And the boys are, they have like this big play thing here that the boys are playing with. <laughs> oh my. Are you fishing? <laughs> Jeez, Mason. <laughs> Mason. Are you a monster terrorizing everything? Mason, what you making? Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hayden, what are you doing? What is that? Hayden, what's that? <laughs> a what? Oh, it's a fire station. We're fighting. <laughs> Why is it doing this now? No, I'm recording in the wrong setting. Again, hang on. Awesome, buddy. Mm. Aiden, your hair looks awesome. So we just left pigtails and fruit cuts right there, and I decided to walk over here to Five Guys, and I see this sign. It says the best cheeseburger in Colorado Springs, which is so funny because my sister lives in Colorado Springs. So. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> So we are in the car. I went home. We ate. I got Lily. I have food. I'm gonna eat it. You wanna eat it? Yeah. My camera's not food. <laughs> Silly. Your I hair is so messy. I eat that. I got these roasted garlic chips. Cheers. These are like my favorite snacks ever. They are roasted I'm garlic rye snacks. chips. You usually find these in like Chex Mix and stuff. I really like these snacks. Lily does too. Chips. Snack. 
<laughs> you hear how loud they are to crunch. I love those things. Um, but anyway, we are about to leave and I'm going to make a pit stop at 7-Eleven to pick up a couple more bags of those chips. Leaning towards cyber security. Look, she's purple. My, I have a bachelor's in she's computer purple. security with a minor in cyber security. But it's really expensive. I was gonna say really that's, that's good to be. Yes. Look, look at Audrey. Just, she's purple. Just commissioned, so I'll be Phillips. <laughs> They're purple. In the future. So what game is this? This is called Red Dragon Inn. Hey guys. So I hope you can see me okay. I didn't get a whole lot of clips. Hang on. I get Mason in here. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I forgot. We're kind of on a hill here, so it might be a little more difficult. <laughs> Victory! Victory is mine. So Mason's climbing in through the back here because this is our third row seating in our Kia Sorento. So I open up the back. We keep one of the two seats back here down, and then Mason climbs in. Get in. Aw, I like sitting right there. But I need to get Lily and Aiden in, too. So get in. So he just climbs in. Hey! And he gets in his seat here. He does have a seat belt and everything. It's the third row seating in the Kia Sorento. And look, I'm on a slope here because it's the kind of backing out part of the driveway. You can see here, it's kind of like a little downward ramp, so it's a little bit higher here. But shut the door. You in your seat? Yeah. All right, let's get your coat off. Can you take your coat off? Yeah. All right, one. Ew. Woo! Crap. What? Lily's <laughs> <laughs> here like a porcupine. Lily's got that static hair again. It's porcupine. Here, man. touch mommy's hand. Ow! Hey, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get on it. Okay, come on. Get, get your straps in. Hey, I'm gonna do on it. Oh, are you ET? You're gonna shock me? On the hand. Alright, hang on, guys. Oh. Alright you guys, so I am getting my seatbelt on. Where I have the camera now, I can't actually keep it where it's at right now. Just because it's, there's no grip there for it, so. We're gonna listen to some music and start our drive home. So it's 9.30 at night, it is two hours past the kids' bedtime. Girl, you got me tripping on sunshine. Got no rooms, it just made my day. Since you came around, no, I just can't slow down, no. I wanna see you walking my way. Girl, you got me thinking about diamonds. Getting down on one knee, maybe two. Ooh, love. All of these lines across my face. Tell you the story of who I am. So many stories of where I've been and how I got to where I am. But these stories don't mean anything if you got no one to tell them to. It's true. I was made for you. Across the mountain 